I look like a hot mess right now. So, um... Do you want to share with the class what is going on? I just located my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, you did. Seems kind of difficult to do. So, as you guys know, I play football regularly, pretty much once a week. Katie always makes jokes that I feel like I'm uh, gonna sign like a million dollar deal yeah. and things like that, even though it's just a bunch of like yeah. mid 20s to 30 year old guys that probably shouldn't be playing football, okay. how hard they do. Anyways, I was on defense, I was guarding somebody Daddy. and uh, the quarterback threw up the ball Bye. and I jumped backwards. So I'm facing the quarterback and the receiver is behind me and I jumped backwards and I grabbed the football to like try to intercept it with my left hand, with my left arm. And I grabbed, I grabbed it with one arm, and then as my arm was like completely <laughs> extended, the receiver had two hands on the ball, trying to pull the ball down to my body, and he's pulling up, trying to catch the ball. As soon as I hit the ground, I just started like screaming in pain, and I was saying, I like repeated over and over, I was like, I broke it, I broke it, I broke it. I had no clue what it was. I thought, at first I thought it was my collarbone, I don't know why, uh -huh. but at first I thought it was my collarbone, because my entire, I think the only reason I thought it was my collarbone is because it, we, like in your family there's so many collarbone injuries. Uh -huh. So I don't know why, but that's what You just cool. immediately thought collarbone because... Because I knew that it was in this region. Right, right. I knew that it was up here. But I just felt awful. I was screaming and it felt like my whole shoulder was like down here. <laughs> and I was like rolling around, everybody because was Because like, it was. It was, but like everybody was freaking out. All of the other guys around me, I was sitting there screaming. And then they ended up deciding that they were gonna take me into the hospital. Gabe and Damar both put me into my car and they took me to the hospital. If I was sitting still, like if I was like, when they were putting their cleats on and stuff like that, I was sitting at a table and I sat at the table like this, like with my arm kind of down and I like rested my arm on the table. I literally felt like no pain. But then the second I had to like stand up, I would like hold my arm up like this. And it was so excruciating and it was so weird. I couldn't like sit up straight. There was literally, Nobody in the waiting room. They went straight in. I went straight into like this triage room. They asked me my height, they took my weight. Mommy, okay, so they like triaged me, they asked me for my height, they asked me for my weight, and then they kind of asked me what happened. I told them, gave them our in the room with me, and I'm still like in pretty excruciating pain. And then the doctor was like, okay, we have two routes. We can either go through all these procedures. Honestly, I'm still in so much pain, I don't even remember what Daddy, he said. Do you? Yeah. I don't remember what procedures he said that he would do but it was like x-rays he can go and like kind of feel it and like see what he needs to do and he was like or since it sounds like you just dislocated your shoulder you can just bear some excruciating pain and i could try to pop it back into place and i knew from like past experiences that my like from seeing other people dislocate stuff it's like very bad pain until you get popped back into place and then it's like instant relief so I was like, screw it, let's just like pop it back into place. It was really strange. All he had me do since, like I said, I like, couldn't stand up straight. Like, demonstrate how he did it, like with your other arm. Okay, so I was, like I said, I was hunched over like this, and he said, you have to sit up with your like shoulder blades back. So I was like this, and then as I was sitting back, I was like screaming, and the doctor slowly like used his body weight to lower it, and then it just like popped back into place. That was it? Yeah, it was it. He was like, he was like, there's not gonna be any sudden movements or anything like that. He was like, I just need you to sit up straight and my what? like he essentially just used his body leverage to pop back into place obviously i still had pain after it was popped back into place because it just like felt weird it felt like sore but it went from like being like a eight to nine on a scale of one to ten pain to like a two to three so it took me back out into the waiting room and i waited for like five minutes and then they had x-rays taken on my um, shoulder they said they didn't see any fractures or anything like that but they said that since it was Friday that it happened, I had to call on Monday and speak to a, what's it called? Some orthopedic surgeon. Yeah, I have to speak to like an orthopedic surgeon. I have to set a schedule, or I have to set an appointment up for them to see if I need surgery. And come to find out, Katie's dad works in like the medical field and it, apparently it's like, what, 75%? He said there's, prob there's about a 75% chance that you will need surgery. Yeah, just from like ligament or something. Which makes sense to me because it's like, Joint. okay, like how is your shoulder gonna dislocate without something being damaged? So we're hoping and praying that nothing, that I don't need surgery. I guess to give like, from my perspective. Yeah, you should give your happened. perspective on like. I'm also filling Easter eggs because tomorrow is, is Easter, Easter and we're like hosting at our house too. So that's absolutely amazing. So we had just finished up like a really long week 
of soccer. Soccer ended Friday. Yesterday. And then we went to go after soccer, we went to go see my mom. So it was like a full day. It was a full day of like soccer and Easter activities. Like the girls were absolutely exhausted. They barely even spoke at your mom's house because they were so tired. Sure. We went home. Ben's like, I'm playing football tonight. Is that okay? And I was like, Yeah. I literally napped for four hours yesterday afternoon while, while the girls, girls nap. He woke me up at 4 30 and was like, I'm leaving. The original plan was for me to also go to the football field and to stay there and let the kids play at the playground while he played. But I was like, I'm just now waking up. I was so groggy. I'm like, we're just not going to make it today. I went and I got the kids dinner. We um, were like listening to the baby's heartbeat. We were just kind of hanging out. I look at my phone because it's ringing and I see Gabe uh, as the caller ID. And I was like, I got hurt. I knew instantly. I answered the phone and I don't even remember what I said, but it was something along the lines of like, is he okay? Or like what happened or something like that. I think he said, I think I said like, oh my gosh, is he okay? And then Gabe said, unfortunately not, I'm sorry. And I was like, you're sorry? Like, I'm so confused. And I was like, what, what happened? He goes, we don't really know yet. He like fell on his shoulder and he, he we don't know what happened, but we're gonna take him into the hospital. And like when he said that he was gonna take you to the ER, I was like, oh my gosh, because Ben never wants to go to the doctor. He never wants to go to the ER. I can't remember. I don't think you've been to the ER in like five plus years they or even me, like urgent care. They or asked me if my address was still my address from when I was like 15. He sounded like really frantic. I think everybody was a little frantic. So then I got in touch with Damar as you guys were pulling up to the ER and telling you where you're at. I'm on the phone with my mom. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened to Ben, but I, I don't know if I need to go to the hospital. Gabe's like, he needs his ID. And I'm like, I, I don't even know what's going on. So I called my mom. She was on her way here. Then you got in pretty quickly. So DeMar calls me and he's like, hey, his shoulder was dislocated. They popped it back into place. I don't think that you need to come. There's yeah. no need for you to come. I think he'll be out really soon. So I was like, okay. Thank you, let me call my mom. Called mom, told her to go back home. Finally got on the phone with you, and you told me kind of what happened. <laughs> it was funny because after Damar called and told you that like it was popped back into place, then I called you like five minutes later, and you go, Ben, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna kill, kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that happened last night. It hasn't even been 24 hours since it happened. I posted it on my Instagram Mommy, story, and there are yeah. people like, oh my gosh, you totally jinxed it, like with, because you posted last it, week, yeah, you posted, posted TikTok. It. TikTok about how you always get injured in that time you didn't. You just happened to not. And then this week you did. We were looking it up and we were like, what the heck? Like the the recovery time is really long. And I was really shocked by the fact that they referred you to a surgeon. So mom phoned my dad. My dad wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon. He's been a physical therapist for a long time. My dad has so many like friends and colleagues in all of the areas of the medical field. Like he already recommended you to an orthopedic surgeon. surgeon. Like he yeah. knows people. He has so many connections. And so I was like, what the heck is going on? Like, why would he need surgery? And he said, well, in order for like the shoulder to dislocate, there hadn't been some kind of damage. So they want to make sure that nothing was like torn like severely, because if it is, then it'll have, you'll have kind of long-term damage to your shoulder and, like, area. mobility and just all that. So. Problems and possibly but a even dislocating if, more even often. If, even if I don't need surgery, it's still You're a minimum adding, of like- Put it back. Even if I don't need surgery, it's still like a minimum of like 12 weeks. Yeah. Of recovery. I never realized that but it was that's this like three and a half, four months. I know. I didn't realize that it was this like serious. Like I never realized dislocating your shoulders was like that big of a deal. I'm a very like active person when it comes to around the house. Like I cannot sit still. So like it already I'm struggling with just like not doing stuff. And you've been great. You've been like helping me out and stuff, but it's just like it's a weird dynamic to like not like go get you coffee, not go to the store, not get your water, not do these things, not cook for you, not do any of these things. Now it's like complete reverse where like, you brought me my coffee this morning. And it's I can't... been literally less than 24 hours and you're already feeling this way is kind of concerning. Well, I'm hoping that it will get better, but I'm just saying like, it's just it's just a weird change. Yeah. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Uh -huh. This morning I was feeling like real stressed uh -huh. because it's the day before Easter and we're hosting brunch tomorrow and then not I, knowing what And to then do. I woke up this morning and like, a lot more pain than I was in like yesterday in regards to, like after they popped it back into place. I think it was just because like moving around at night, like my night's sleep was just also, bad. Also, I, I have found, well like I freaking know this, but like I feel like on camera a lot of people assume 
that like I kind of run the show around here but I really am not and I like really heavily rely on Ben for a lot of things and I genuinely could not survive with if you weren't here and when you are hurt or like like not fully there I was gonna say intoxicated there's only one time where we were like where I felt kind of unsafe because I didn't feel like you were fully sober. Yeah. But like the fact that he was injured last night, falling asleep made me feel like, oh, shoot. Like, like you have to protect the house. Well. Kind Sort of, like that's how I felt. And so I didn't really sleep all last night and I'll be fine. Like the, ne the next few days will be fine. But like, I don't know. I just like really heavily rely on Ben to like, I don't know. I just feel safe around him. And so the fact that I had to like close down the house last night and like turn on the alarm and all of that, I was like, oh my gosh, like what if I did it wrong? Yeah, Obviously dream. I feel like a lot more safe when I fall asleep and he's downstairs and I can trust that he's gonna, you know, close everything up. So it, sh it was just a different feeling for me last night and I think that carried on to this morning and my stress and stuff like yeah. that. So yeah, I feel kind of- But the nice thing is like, but the nice thing is now you kind of like I feel better like I'm really not in very much pain whatsoever mm -hmm. And like I'm still able to do stuff like I'm silly I'm glad it wasn't like a leg injury or something like that because then I couldn't really, like move Walk, Yeah, but, like this way. I'm like I can still move I have my dominant hand yeah. and I'm able to help you There's certain things when it comes like twisting or like yeah. Things that I can't really help you with like mm -hmm. I can't untwist my water bottle okay. So we're in a whole lot better spirits than yesterday that's for sure. Yes, and I'm in a whole lot better spirits right now than I was like Oh, for sure. Before everyone yeah. snaps today. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I've been working on. Ella's so cute and she drew three crosses for Easter, which is so cute. Um, I'm starting to prep for tomorrow because we're hosting brunch. We're gonna dye some Easter eggs. So I boiled these eggs, they're in the fridge. I cut up and washed the fruit and now I'm making puppy chow, monkey munch, whatever you wanna call it. I might have let it sit for too long. But I need to mix some powdered sugar in here and then this will be ready to go. Between the 
fence. I feel like I There's should. There's one go. more. Go, Aaron, hop the fence. Hop the fence. That purple one might have money in it. Is that one? You think it has money? I, it might. I don't know. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Which bin? <laughs> How are you gonna get back over? There you got it. Does that money? <laughs> It doesn't even have money. <laughs> it doesn't even have money in it. That's so funny. Okay, I'm like 90. Obviously, I can't check, but I'm like 90. Yeah. Time out. I have zero first. 90% sure that the other one is underneath the deck somewhere. <laughs> Y'all. Everybody in the window successfully made it through the day um, yesterday for preparation for Easter and now that it is almost dinner time on Easter I'm feeling so so pooped I feel like we have just been non-stop the last week so this morning my family came over we did like a little brunch here we did like bacon and french toast it was actually really fun I'm really happy with the way that Easter turned out so anyway Easter turned out great I did like an adult Easter egg hunt with my family where I put five eggs out that each had $20 in them so like the kids eggs had candy in them and then the adult Easter egg hunt they were searching for $20 bills and my brother got two of them Aaron got Got two of them and my dad got one of them and it was just so so fun today we dyed Easter eggs and then we all took a really good nap today so now I'm just doing laundry since Ben is so out of commission I have to keep up with literally everything he can't do any dishes he can't do any laundry he can't lift up or hold the kids he can't really do anything at this point except for just kind of watch over the kids so that's been his main job is just kind of like supervise while I try and get a bunch of things done. Tomorrow, he will be calling the orthopedic surgeon and see when he can get in for an evaluation. Hopefully he can get in sometime this week. So yeah, I hope everyone has had a safe and fun Easter Sunday and Easter weekend. I'm also now past 16 weeks. I'm like almost 16 and a half weeks pregnant. I don't know how. I literally don't know how these weeks are going by so fast. I truly don't. Like April is tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's April Fool's Day. I didn't even think about that. Before you know it, it's gonna be summer. Before you know it, the baby's gonna be here. I posted on my story today that I still think the baby is a girl. If you saw the picture of me, actually if you go on my Instagram, it'll be on my permanent feed but i have like a little slide of all of our easter photos and in this outfit i just give girl energy like i'm looking at myself and i'm like 
it just looks like I'm having a girl. Like, I can't even imagine. Like, I, I, it just doesn't look like I'm having a boy. It looks like I'm having a fourth girl. It looks like I'm just a full-on girl mom. I don't know, that picture like convinced me. I'm like, yep, I'm just, I'm not having a girl, 100%. Ben and I just keep talking about how we cannot believe that his shoulder dislocation happened. And I was telling my mom that so many bad things happen on Easter for us every single year. There's been several like extended family events that have happened on Easter. Easter just like not good ones like people arguing there's been breakups that have happened on Easter two years ago Ben and I got into a fight on Easter I forget what it was about but Addie was only like six weeks old two years ago on Easter and then last year was like a fine Easter but then my mom busted her head open on Easter last year, the day after Easter, which I've actually never told that story of what happened. And then this year, Ben dislocates his shoulder the day before Easter. I just feel like every single year on Easter, something happens, always. It's so odd. It's like Easter weekend, the day of Easter, the day after Easter, it's a while. Oh, hopefully next year will be pretty smooth. So I'm like finding all of our laundry from the weekend and trying to throw in one last load because everything's pretty much clean except for some like random things here and there from the weekend. I'm gonna put this away and then see what other chores I need to do just to keep up with everything right now. <laughs>